The creation of a Royal Commission into Youth Detention in the Northern Territory has reopened a national debate about how to keep disaffected young people out of prison. 7% of Australians aged between 15 and 20 don't work or go to school. But in Victoria, there's a unique school that's reaching out to troubled teenagers and inspiring them to get their lives back on track. Kathy Jacobs reports. Yeah. And then part B, if you still want to do it, is the money side. An ordinary day in an extraordinary school. It's called the Pavilion, where students are re-engaging after missing months, sometimes years, of mainstream education. Whether it's a mental health problem, severe behavioural issues, really difficult home lives, dealing with crisis rather than being at school, and kids that have been that are involved in child protection or youth justice. 20-year-old Ebony is making up for five lost years. She's now focused on finishing year 12. I got a lot more respect for the teachers than when I first came here. This made me a better person. Yeah, and they did. Yeah. Ebony credits the respect shown to Indigenous and Torres Strait Islanders at the school for her newfound sense of well-being. They feel safe, they feel confident coming to school and knowing that no one's not going to look at them different or pick on them or anything like that. Principal Josie Howey is a social worker who retrained as a teacher and developed the pavilion philosophy. So it's about not, not judging or blaming kids for the situation they're in, rather we pull them closer in and we provide them with the support they need. Every class has a teacher, a welfare worker and an integration aide working with small groups in a calm and accepting environment. So can anyone think about what a verb might be? What began 10 years ago as a small community program grew so quickly the Victorian Education Department provided a home at a disused primary school in Preston. Half an hour away, a second campus at a council youth centre helps cater for more than 240 students. Hi everyone. Hi Joe. How are we? Yeah, great. Before coming here, most of these students had little hope for their futures. I was like an outcast, so I was all to myself. Just used to hang around Greensboro, the wrong people, just do the wrong things still. Stuff like that. If I was at school, I'd probably get, I was getting into punch ones like every time I was there. So it was easier for me not to be there. You've got to be providing them with love and positive regard at all times as well because it's from that basis and from that platform that we see real change. I'll help you write a cover letter for it. Cool, cool. Okay. Around 85% of Pavilion graduates go on to further education or work. Do you think that the work that you're doing here is keeping kids? out of prison? Absolutely, yep. I 100% believe that. I see my future much better than I did. I see that I can actually achieve things. Well, I'd love to be a Tyler. Pay's really good and I know I'm really good with maths and measurements and that. The thing about here is that they do whatever they can to get you to the top. I love it. I never thought I'd be finishing year 12, but I am. The Pavilion is now sharing its philosophy with other schools who want to save vulnerable teenagers from dropping out. Kathy Jacobs, ABC News, Melbourne.